Hey guys, Jimmy Swama here with another squad tutorial. This time I'm helping you pick your graphic settings for your computer and also showing you the best settings for visibility. This was my first live commentary, so bear with me through the video. I do say uh a lot. Sorry. A little about the future. I have two squad events upcoming. If you guys are interested in participating in a squad event, please comment below or DM me through YouTube. Also, tomorrow is going to be a great video. I have a squad video that I've been editing for a few days now and hope you guys will really enjoy that content. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and please leave a like down below if you enjoyed this content and leave a comment of what you guys want me to do in the next upcoming squad tutorials. Thank you. Okay squad, if you're having trouble finding people in game, here are some helpful tips. So what you want to start off by doing is going into your game settings. So if you're in game, press escape, or if you're on the main menu, just find it in the top right of your uh, screen by clicking settings. Then over in the top left of your screen, game. The very first thing that you want to tweak is your field of view. If you have touched this at all, move it back down to 90. It shouldn't be anywhere over 95. Hundreds, uh, hundreds okay, but generally you want to keep this as low as possible. I know in other FPS games you want to make it high, but in this game it creates a fishbowl effect. It's going to bring everything closer on the sides of your screens, but in the middle of the screen it's going to be super far away. So as you can see, even just those guys that are 100 meters away, it's hard to see. Look down sights, it's still hard to see. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of people that are using this, trying to use the sides of their screens to see it, and the tops or the other side of their screen, just to, just to see people. And This is the opposite of what you want to do, especially in a game like Squad, which is tactical. You want to keep your gun pointed at the people. So, with this, you want your field of view as low as possible. Because you're going to be able to see those people a lot better. Look at now I can actually see that there's six people. Okay. The next settings are in your graphics. So you're going to want to gauge your computer. Gauge gauging your computer is everyone has a feeling of what where their computer's at compared to high end computers. Mine's in the medium to high range. Um it was Eh, yeah, medium, medium to high. That's what that's where I gauge my computer at. So I like to start at high and work my way down. Okay. So starting with anti-aliasing, this I actually like to keep a lot higher than normal. The reason being is because it's gonna make your images a lot smoother. It just makes the game look a lot nicer over long distances, even close distances. It just cleans up the corners. It stops the jagged edges, and it's just a lot. I just like having Yellowsing really high. Next is shadows. So with shadows, honestly, this is going to be dependent on your um, GPU. So I like to have the quality of my shadows at medium because, to be honest, they can be blurry. They can be a little bit jaggy. I'm not really paying attention to the shadows as much as I am everything else in the game. Contact shadows. I tend to leave this off because it impacts the GPU so much. If I leave put this on, it, it actually takes like 250 megs of uh, DRAM usage, which I don't like. Um, but far shadows, I I like it. It doesn't affect my performance in a huge manner. I think because it um, because I leave contact shadows, like I feel like if I were to put both these on, it would mess up like double for some reason. So I leave contact and keep far shadows on. Okay. Okay, so now with textures, you're gonna want to again gauge this like your computer. So if your computer is medium to high, then this in this tense I like to leave it at medium. Um this is because of my VRAM pool. Um I like to keep Generally, in every game, I like to keep my VRAM around 33% of its usage. 
Um, I don't like to push my GPU, especially because I like to have other tabs open. I like to open other shit. Um, sometimes I'll have another game open at another point. So it's just, I, I like to have as much VRAM as possible. And at 33%, I've never run into an issue with my computer. Um, overheating, um, overworking, anything. The thing that you're going to, and also texture quality, it honestly doesn't matter in this game. Low quality still looks decent, it's just going to load in a lot slower. Medium quality is just like high in my opinion, there's no difference except for the load time. It's going to, I feel like medium's a lot slower when you first get into the game. Um, but high and epic, they're just like crisp, everything's great, thin. The thing that you're going to want to worry about, though, is anisotropic filtering. So, this is honestly not going to hit your computer too hard. And this is what you want high as possible. Okay? The reason I say high as possible is mostly because the best way to describe it is with this image. Um, so, as you can see, Closer is clear, okay? But further is blurry and it looks like it almost looks like the textures aren't aren't fully rendered, right? So what anisotropic filtering does, it gives you the illusion that at a far distance, like in real life, it would be blurry, but it still looks like the textures are there. It still looks like a it still looks like a a brick wall with some lighter bricks or with some darker red bricks, okay? It still looks like a runway. It still it still looks like it, but in the one without anisotropic filtering, at a distance you can clearly see it's either in a video game, it's like it's like Play-Doh just brushed over the uh the prop. So that's why I like to have and my and isotropic filtering as high as possible. This also it also helps with um anti-aliasing. It smooths out the uh image as well. So and it doesn't hurt your computer that much at all. Like look at my VRAM. Nothing. It's gonna hit your it's gonna hit your processing power a little <clears throat> it's gonna hit your processing power a little bit, but you should be okay. Okay, so now with particle quality. Um, I used to have mine at cinematic, but it really it really impacts your computers at times. So if you're getting bombed or if you have a lot of smokes down, it's going to impact your computer a lot. So I like to have mine at high. Again, I gauge my computer, the medium to high. I like to have it at high because if... It does impact my computer a little bit. I like to see the better explosions. I like to see the sparks going off. I like to see, I don't know, the cool stuff going on. and It looks nice. Ambient occlusion. So what AO is, it, it's a process that calculates the amount of, uh, the amount of light that's in that area. So, if you have a shiny gun and the sun hits it, it's going to reflect it. It's going to look like it reflects it. If it hits a corner of a gun and it doesn't reflect under the corner, it's going to have a little bit of a shadow under that. So this affects the quality of that. Um, screen is if you walk into a building, it's your, the kind of outside of your screen is going to be a little bit darker. If you walk outside a building it's going to be a lot lighter okay um that is ao or ambient occlusion post processing so essentially what post processing is is it's lens and bloom so bloom is if you're look if you're inside and in, inside a building that doesn't have any lights on or light protruding from it and it's a bright ass sunny day out and it's coming in through that window Gonna be you're gonna have a tough time seeing out that window because how bright it is because your bloom's so high. 
if lens flare, if you stare at the sun and you have lens like a scope on, or even if you don't have a scope on and you just look at the sun or in the direction of the sun, you're going to have little kind of like <laughs> flares, like little like uh, kind of circles that are different colors and they're just going to hinder your, and they're, it's going to darken your screen a lot too, and it's just going to hinder your viewing so i like to i like to leave it at high because i do i mean not high medium i like to leave it at medium because i do like to see this stuff um it makes the quality of life better in the game but it, it doesn't affect your like uh overall performance so i just like to keep it at medium and keep lens flares on because that is the game uh, you can turn lens flares off and keep bloom on if you want you motion blur you shouldn't even think about leaving this on or have it on or anything because if you want to see and shoot people just by looking around this is going to blur your image and that's like the opposite of what we're trying to do so turn that all the way off screen sharpening i turn that i turn that all the way down too i don't need my post processing coming at coming in to hinder my um my performance of the game so what i mean is i don't i don't want this taking any of my computer up whatsoever so i leave it at zero yes so it, it doesn't make it so intense and doesn't affect the performance at all color grading i leave this at you can change it if you don't like the blue light or whatever i like to leave it across the board because my monitor and everything is set up for how I like uh, how I like to see. So another tip I want to show you guys is taking your role, okay? Um all the roles have almost two to them except for sniper unless you're on the uh Canadian uh the grenader's not gonna have two the some, a lot, okay, so a lot of them is not going to have two, but some of them are going to have two, such as the heavy and the light anti-tanks. Uh, the medics are going to have two. Uh, your squad leader is going to have a bunch. Um, sometimes your automatic rifleman can have, well, here's two right here, but sometimes this is, sometimes the first tier automatic rifleman is not going to have a scope, and this one is. So what I mean, so what I mean by uh, checking your Checking your role before you pick it for sure is your role loadout, okay? So each role loadout, you're gonna have the same but different stuff. And I'll show you which one, what I mean. So heavy anti tank, tandem, and high explosive. Tandem is gonna be a lot better at distance because you need distance for, act for it actually to. Uh, to fire up and it's going to be very good armor pen heavy anti uh sorry high explosive anti tank it's going to be as it's going to be as good as the tandem but at shorter distances and a little bit less accurate at longer distances okay however the thing about these is a lot of people want the tandem but the thing about the tandem is you don't get a scope with your primary okay how often are you going to use your bazooka compared to your primary i'll tell you you're going to use your primary a lot more okay you're you're going to want you're going to want a scope on your primary there's a lot of hard asses out there that will be like oh i don't need no scope you do especially in this game where you're firing at people within 300 meters so just make sure that before you click deploy and the and the role that you want to pick for that game make sure they have a scope that's all you got to make sure pretty simple you we need riflemen people don't like to pick riflemen we need all the riflemen so if none of the kits that you like have uh have a scope go to riflemen because it's always nice to have extra bullets okay and medics always try 
there's always at least one scoped medic and one unscoped medic. In this case, you have two scoped, but this is just a red dot on top. Always try to get the scope with the medic because generally with the medic, you're going to want to put down a lot of uh, suppressive fire, especially before you move to the guy that's dead. So you're going to want to be able to see where the suppressive fire is either going to or if you're actually hitting anywhere near your or if you kill the guy you never know sometimes you kill the guy and suppress the fire so this, you like you want to see that stuff so always try to get the scoped never go never go with iron sights it's just a hassle and a prick to work with okay so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed uh i hope i didn't ramble on and i didn't say um too much for everybody i know this it was my first commentary my first like live commentary for, while i was doing the video so it was um it was hard for me and hard to think of stuff on the fly uh, i wrote a script but you rewrite the script in your head as you're reading it just a, it's, it was a little bit of a mess. I hope the next live commentary while showing you guys what to do is a lot better. Uh, I, hope you, I hope I showed you how to pick your settings for your computer and as well as to see people a lot better. And choosing your role before you commit to that next extra hour and a half of gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and a comment on how many times I said uh. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.